Man, I wish this video had a sponsor. Oh, it does. Oh, wait, wait, it does? Yeah. Oh, Squarespace? Mm hmm Oh, th okay, this video is brought to you by Squarespace. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm 1000. I'm an artist from Southwest Michigan. Back again. Another video. Here we go. Today, got me a big panel. Mmm. I'm gonna be painting a commission. It's been on my commission list for like two years. So sorry to the people on my commission list. You guys have to wait so dang long for your art. For those of you wondering, my commission list is closed right now. So let's knock one of my commissions off my commission list. I'm gonna be making a big, crazy, detailed acrylic painting, and I am gonna try to walk you guys through my acrylic painting process. So let's dive into this thing. Here we go. All right, first I wanna sketch out what I want my concept to be for this piece. I've created an 18 inch by 24 inch document here in Procreate using the iPad Pro 12.9 inch. The lady who commissioned this says she really liked my more complex stuff with lots of characters. So just based off of that information alone, I think I'm gonna dive in and get sketching a concept that I think is dope and hopefully she will think is dope too. With the concept art on this one, the client really left it open for me to just kind of do what I wanted to do. And after how much art I make on a weekly basis, I feel like I've gotten a lot better at drawing. I feel like I've gotten a lot better at painting. And my concept was just this crazy mashup of super cool stylish characters. And I was really just trying to like basically make one of the best paintings I've ever made. There's a lot going on, but hopefully I can knock this one out of the park. All right, I just finished my sketch, emailed it off to the client, and while we're waiting to hear what she has to say about it, let's jump in and sand the board, gesso the board, get the panel prepped while we wait to hear back from my client. It's kind of rough, let's sand it down, now vacuum up, we don't want dust around. 100 grit first, then 220, we gon' sand it down, we wanna smoke, hey. Yeah, gesso, gesso, get the gesso, please, yup. In the cottage cheese cup, we gon' mix this thing up. I said, lay it down, spread it round, seal the wood. I got gesso in my cup, you know I'm feeling good. Uh, hit the hit the sides, yeah we sitting sideways. I've been gessoing for days. I got gesso on the brain, got the first step done. I said, Tada, magic presto. I'm screaming G unit, and the G stands for gesso. All right, so I got an email back from my client. She had a few notes. She says she wants more stuff relating to music and travel. She doesn't like this. She says this guy is scary. <laughs> and she said this face seems too hard. She wants it softened a bit, a bit more happy. So I'm gonna work on this a bit more and see if I can bring these changes in. One hour later. All right, I've made a few changes. I added this suitcase right here. She's got some headphones now. Kind of changed the face up a little bit. There's a passport here. Suitcase, passport representing travel. The headphones representing music. It's a little keyboard here for the music thing. Thing. Add a little musical note. Change this guy to like a samurai singing dog kind of thing. <laughs> and yeah, that's kind of it. So we'll send this off to her and see if she likes this any better. Hopefully she does. So yeah, we'll get back to it when I hear back. After these messages, we'll be right back. Carl, do you hear that? Yeah, Jimbo, what is that? I think it's coming from the woods. <laughs> Jiminy Crickets, that's Bigfoot. Get your camera, Carl. Okay, okay, I'm filming. <laughs> Holy cow, Carl. We got the first real-life footage of Bigfoot. We gonna be rich. How are we gonna be rich, Carl? We gonna take this footage of Bigfoot and put a tiny snippet of it on YouTube. Go on. Then, we're gonna build a website and charge $2 to download the full video. People will want to scrutinize every frame to verify the existence of this majestic and mythological creature. Well, that sounds good and all, but we don't know how to build a website. Well, you see, now that's where Squarespace comes. In. We may just be a couple slack-jawed yokels, but Squarespace has these beautiful, elegant, and award-winning templates that make it so easy to build a website, even we can do it. Well, I think if we're gonna get rich from this, we're gonna have to sell merch with our images of this mighty Sasquatch plastered all over it. Well, Squarespace has the most rootin' tootin' e-commerce around. Listen now, my favorite YouTuber, 1000, has been running his online shop on Squarespace for years, and he's slangin' dope art Art t-shirts like mama's hotcakes. Plus Squarespace has 24-7 customer support to help you out if you two dummies can't figure it out. Ah! 
So head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash 1000 to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. <laughs> All right, my client got back to me. She says she likes the changes that I made, which is fantastic news. So I have my sketch opened here in Adobe Acrobat and my piece is 18 inches by 24 inches. My printer can only print like paper size, like eight and a half by 11. So I need to slice this image up onto a lot of pieces of paper. Then I'll tape it together so that it's like actual size 18 by 24 and I can use it to transfer my sketch onto the panel. So I'm gonna go to print here. And for the longest time, I didn't know how to do this, but if you actually click, poster right here it will slice your drawing up into eight and a half by 11 sheets of paper automatically before I learned how to do this I used to do all this manually in Photoshop but all you got to do is click that poster button so I click poster so I'll print this out and then we'll cut it up tape it together and transfer the sketch here we go walking into my warehouse because that's where my printer is to my art studio, the scissors they go snails. Taping it all together, the puzzle goes part by part. The scotch tape holds it all together, make this concept done. So grab the transfer paper, it's time to roll it out. Cut the transfer paper, and we gon' tape it down. Just lay down the concept now On top of all so wrong Let's transfer the concept of this gonna work out how to do all right, I have the whole thing kind of laid out here. And now I'm gonna take this ballpoint pen and just trace over my concept art because I have this transfer paper laid down here and the pressure of the ballpoint pen going over my line art is gonna transfer my sketch through with that transfer paper. So here we go. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna tone my concept art with like a light wash of acrylic to seal in the graphite and to make it so that my background isn't like this super bright, harsh white. Add a little water to this. All right, let's tone this panel. I like to tone my panel because I find it hard to get accurate colors when I'm painting on a pure white surface. The contrast between the white and the color makes my colors appear darker. The wash of acrylic also seals in the graphite so I'm not smudging my concept art the whole time. And I find it just easier to cover this earth tone instead of like pure white. All right, I think it's finally time to start painting this thing and I think I'm gonna start with the sides first. For my background, I just wanted to do like a cool, chill navy blue, just a solid color, because I knew this crazy character mashup in the foreground was gonna be right where I wanted your eye to go, and there was gonna be a ton of bright colors, so I just kept it really simple for the background. All right, I got the sides and the background done. Now it's time to start jumping in on all these characters. paint I like to work back to front so the stuff that's like furthest in the background I paint first and when another character overlaps on top of that element I can bring my paint like right up to the edge and just slightly go over what I painted before so it's like seamless I also generally work from top to bottom and from left to right just because I'm right-handed and I don't want to be dragging my hand through wet paint all right, at this point, it's like day four between the concept art, prepping the panel, emailing the client, a little bit of painting. So I'm just gonna jump right in and get painting again. This piece is gonna take me a long time. <laughs> Here we go. This is a really ambitious painting for me. There is like so much going on in this. There's like 13 characters in this piece. There's some other stuff like a suitcase, keyboard leaves, and everything is kind of overlapping and intersecting. So many times I'm painting a strange object, doing a crazy art challenge, painting a massive mural, and just sitting in my little paint studio and putting on a bunch of audio books and just working really hard on a painting. It's just something super fun to focus on. I wouldn't necessarily call it relaxing because to me, painting is always like a battle versus myself. Trying to keep the self-doubt out, trying to keep pushing forward, knowing that the finish line will come and hopefully have something in the end that I'm super happy with and super proud of. 
All right, George, it's day five. It's day five, should we do some painting, George? Yeah, give me five. <laughs> oh, you sleepy today, huh? Come on, let's go, George, let's go, let's go paint. Whoa, it's easy. On this piece, I'm using golden fluid acrylics, my go-to paint, I love them. They're more fluid than like heavy body paints. Really good for getting it nice and smooth, getting some nice blends going on. I put my paints on a stay wet palette. I really like that, it's got like a wet sponge underneath it to keep my paints wet. Even day after day, I just put the lid on, save them for the next day, it's really dope. I use kind of cheap brushes. I still need to dive into the world of expensive brushes. On my cheap brushes, I blow through like several of them just on one painting, so maybe if I got some better brushes, they would last me a little bit longer, who knows. is day seven feeling like this painting is never gonna end but i'm already painting and hopefully i will finish it today Hey, if you guys like the way I paint, the way I do my art, I actually have an online art class that's a month long learning adventure. It's only open for enrollment a few times a year and it just so happens to be open for enrollment right now through December 27. The class goes from like some drawing basics, developing your style, character design, how to come up with a concept for a piece of art, color theory, color mixing, and then that kind of moves into the painting section of the class, which is the second half of the class, where I literally like in real time show you every single step that I take to make a painting. You know, my YouTube videos are always like super fast motion, lots of edits and more designed for like entertainment, but this class really, really breaks it down, slows everything way down, and I share all my tips and secrets with you guys. You'll be put into super sweet peer groups where you can share your art with each other, give each other feedback. That's one of my favorite things about the class is the peer groups. So what are you waiting for? There's a link down in the description, monthly.com forward slash 10 hun. Give the gift or receive the gift of art this holiday season. Check it out. I think you guys will really like it. We've gotten a ton of positive feedback already. I'm super proud of the class. Enrollment is only open for a little while longer, so get enrolled. If you happen to be watching this video when enrollment is closed, you can still go to the website with my link in the description and get signed up to receive an email for when the class opens back up for enrollment. Just thought I would let you guys know. Thanks so much. I took the tape off the sides, I varnished it with some golden satin varnish, and I think, I think, I think I'm finally done. So you guys ready to check out the final sexy shots of the piece? I know I am. Here we go. Well, that's it for this one. I made this big, crazy piece. I'm actually super proud of it. I love how it turned out. It's one of my favorite pieces I've ever done. Let me know what you guys think of it down in the comments. This one took me like seven, eight days to do, which is pretty long time for me. If you like this video, leave a like. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want some more crazy art videos. And you can even ring the bell if you want to know exactly when the next video is coming out. You guys should definitely check out my website, 1000art.com. I got a bunch of cool t-shirts and hats and hoodies and long sleeves and crew neck sweatshirts and all kinds of stuff over there. I do free shipping anywhere in the United States. International shipping is available. Holler at my merch, yeah. <laughs> Enrollment for my month long online art class is still open through December 27th. So check that out, learn some stuff, learn my tips and tricks and techniques. Thank you so, so, so much to my patrons. You guys are the coolest people on the internet. You support me on a monthly basis. We have such a dope community over there on Patreon. You guys are dope, thank you so much. Well, that was one big crazy painting. I had a ton of fun making it. It was quite the challenge, but I guess that's it for me on this one. I'm 1000. I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace out. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>
Well, it's the end of the video, so it's time for the random comment shout out. This one comes from Sakshi Udwani. I love your art, but I also love the songs in the background. <laughs> Thanks so much, Sakshi. I actually made a video recently where I made a fiver page, and people paid me five bucks to put in song requests, and I rapped about like anything that people asked me. There was so many crazy songs and so many crazy requests. The video got like way less views than usual. I think because it's about music instead of art, and the YouTube algorithm is like no. No, no, no. How dare you switch up your content? So if you guys haven't seen that one, definitely go check it out. I think it's probably my favorite video I've ever done. It's definitely the video I put the most work into ever. I'll link to it on the screen right now. Definitely check it out. But thanks for the awesome comment, Sakshi. You're dope. Hope you're doing something awesome today. Hope you're doing something creative. Appreciate you. All right, y'all. Peace out.